In fortitude, there's two fundamental rules. You have to have a roof over your head and you have to be able to provide for yourself, so it follows. Everyone's got a job, no one's poor, so there's no stealing, and there's no crime. Everybody's always happy. Debuting tonight at 10 p.m. on Pivot, Fortitude is, well, let me tell you, it's going to require some of what its title says. The almost two-year-old cable channel's first scripted drama, this 12-episode murder mystery and a bit more set in the Arctic, is a sturdy attempt by Pivot to plant its flag, but it also does have a frustrating tendency to move at a near-glacial pace. In fact, de facto star Stanley Tucci, as a forensic detective brought to the Far North fictional community to investigate the killing, doesn't really even make an appearance until almost near the end of the two-hour pilot, well after the polar bears have made their presence known, so to speak. <laughs> Something terrible has happened. Now, coming from Low Winter Sun creator Simon Donald, co-produced by Sky Atlantic, and originally under consideration at Stars. The overly intricate fortitude is two good things and could be a third. For one, it's gorgeous to look at, in no small part due to the landscape it takes place in. Secondly, the great Michael Gambon is in fortitude as a very sick bear expert. Now, one of the greatest actors alive today, Sir Michael has an ability to raise the level of almost everything he's in. And certainly fortitude has more heft than, say, I don't know, 1992's Toys or even the mumbling BBC series Quirk from last year. Roles by Richard Dormer and former Doctor Who and Leftover preacher, among other roles, Christopher Eccleston, don't exactly hinder the tundra either, so to speak. You I know, have committed funds. I gave you no cast iron assurances. Public finances. Hilda. You promised me, Charlie. Those are the good things, along with shards of sharp writing. However, the possible third, well, that's engaging. That's what fortitude needs to be. Now, all the components are there, the thriller aspect, the ambitious local politician, the isolation, the environmental issues, and more. They just need to gel together. And I guess that's the real problem I have with fortitude from what I've seen so far. In relying on drawing me in as a viewer in a long-form story, the Pivot series is very busy weaving a web, but not putting down enough breadcrumbs to keep things moving, or my interest. Now, maybe that's a problem of narrative expectation on my part. Maybe that's just the nature of an Arctic drama. But for Fortitude to really work, they're going to have to warm things up. I'm Dominic Patton for Deadline Hollywood.